Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're talking about NUX3 and Prisma and how to use Prisma to connect to your database using NUX3. Okay, so in the last video, we create, we connect, we downloaded Prisma and connected to our database and we created a table. And here's a table uh, that we created with the ID name, date created and updated at. All right, it's a user's table, let me see, user table. Okay, so we also saw how to create a migration. Now, I would like to change the name of the table. I like to use um, plural in the table, so instead of just user, we're gonna call this users. When you make a change to the table, you wanna create a migration for that. All right, so the way we do that is pretty simple. We just say npx prisma migrate dev. What Prisma would do is going to look at your model here and compare it to your database table and see if there are any changes and there should be a change here. See what it's going to say. All right. So the migration, the change we made is that we changed the name of the table. So that's what we're gonna say here. We're gonna just say change name of table from users, from user to users. All right, now let's take a look at the, um, let's take a, we can take a look at the migration if we want. So here's the migration and you can see what it did. Oh, down here. So it dropped the table user and then it recreated the table users uh, just the same as the other one. Okay, so that's done. And if you want some verification, which you really don't, you can take a look at your table. And if you refresh, it might actually not work, it might say that the table doesn't exist. Yeah, there's no such table. But when we go to uh, users, oh yeah, I mean Prisma database users, that table does exist. Okay, so now let's see how we can start to actually work on our database using Nux3. I like to have my code ordered. It's much, it makes it a lot easier when you're debugging and doing stuff like that. I'm gonna close these folders. Uh, this file. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, is rather than communicating with your database from your front end code, which I think is not safe, we're going to com communicate to our database with our back end code. So Prisma is um, works with JavaScript, and we can actually, I believe, communicate to our database from the front end, but that's not safe. I don't think it's safe. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a server and then communicate with our database from the server. So we're, we're going to have to create an API and co connect the front end to the back end. I think it's safer that way. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to uh, create a server folder here. And we're going to create an API. So we're actually... Yeah, let's do that actually. Create an API. And then the API, we're going to create four files based on CRUD, right? CRUD is create, read, update, delete. But uh, based on HTTP methods, um, we're going to say uh, CRUD create would be, um, we're going to say users the post the ts and what this is this is how we're going to create users in our database and then we also uh, actually let's put some let's write some code here we're going to go to next i'm going to go to next three this is server i don't know if i'm going to find what i'm looking for directory structure Okay, yep. I'm gonna just copy this right here. I uh, can still loading or something. 
Yep. We're going to copy that and place it right there. And we're just going to say, we're going to return some, uh, you know, we'll, we'll return the up. Oop. <laughs> we're going to say this is, um, this is where we're going to create users. Now I'm going to just copy this and paste. And this time, this is where we're going to read users. So it's going to be users dot get. Read users. And then uh, crud, which is update in HTTP terms, that's going to be put. This is where we're going to update users. And then, um, oh, no, I'm going to just copy. And then we're going to say delete. where we're going to delete users. Okay, so we've created an API which will mirror uh, the main functions in the database. This is a, a very simple example here. And um, so let's take a look at, uh, let's test this API, see if it's working correctly. So if you have a, uh, a, a testing tool like Postman, which will help you test your APIs. So make sure that I'm on the right, I believe I'm on the right uh, server here. 301, right port, that's correct. You go to Postman. So API users, this is a get request. So let's see what we get back. It says it's not found and that's because we need to restart the server. I restart the application. Let's do that. We're going to control C or c command C on the Mac and then yarn dev. I'll pause the video while this starts. Okay, so that has restarted. Now let's test our API again. Okay, so that make that works now. So, when whenever we send a get re request to users, we expect to read users, and then whenever we send a post request to this endpoint, we're gonna create users, and create a user, and then when we send a put request, we're gonna update users, and then when we send a delete request, we are going to delete users okay so we have created an api that way we do the work on the server in the back end it's safer than doing it in the front end all right so uh, that's it for this video in the next video god willing we are going to actually start to create some um we're going to start to actually work on the database all right but before you go i have a gift for you if you want a Nuxt 3 Tailwind starter kit that looks like this. Comes with Tailwind, Nuxt 3 of course. Comes with pages, layout, composable, plugin, components, TypeScript, all yours absolutely free. It's designed to help you get started on your Nuxt 3 journey so you can become a great Nuxt 3 developer. It's yours absolutely free. All you gotta do is just click the link below and hey, it's yours absolutely free. It's going to help you get started on your next three journey. All right. So stick around. I'll see you soon.